have a question regarding uh, can a believer should get angry with the la subhanahu wa ta'ala you know and can he be a friend of you know like uh, i can say you know very close friend in every you know in everything he should be angry there will be some emotional bonding with uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala habibi brother zubair when you get angry with your wife with your child what do you do when i'm angry definitely you know uh, i just you know pray i just make cry sometimes you know I definitely so when you're I'm angry made of emotion wait a minute when you're angry with your wife you cry no no with my wife if i'm angry uh, i try to make solve the issues you know with the talks then you're my angry by discussions Anger means when you have a bad temper, when you lose it, when you start banging on the desk, raising your voice, your eyes are growing wild, you're objecting to what your wife or your boss or your child or your employee have done, correct? And you expect them to change it to the way you like it, correct? Yes. Okay. So now when you say, I get angry with Allah, would your anger with Allah change his decree? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests, tests you by any mean, for instance, you try to start the car and the engine won't start. You have a flat tire and you miss the meeting. You say to Allah, you made me miss the meeting and you're angry. Would that make Allah change his mind? and send you a plane to carry you to your meeting? No. So your anger with Allah, your objection to his decree, will not change the fact that that has been preordained for you. Sometimes the, the test is somebody, Allah will test him by taking away his own son, making him die. So he says, I was very angry with Allah. And what did you do? I decided not to worship Allah, go to hell is not going to affect Allah. It is not befitting for anyone to say, I got angry with Allah. We are his servants. We are his slaves. We should understand that whatever Allah does, he does for a hikmah and a wisdom. And beforehand, he said, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقُصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ So he said, most certainly we shall try you, test you with what? خوف, fear, jua, hunger, نقص deficiency in wealth, in food, in provision, a loss of lives, loss of loved ones, then what are you going to do about it? وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ And give glad tidings and good news to those who will endure these tests and trials patiently. If they don't, Allah is not going to change His decree, even if you bang your head against the wall. But if you're patient, and you endure the test and the trial patiently. And you say, الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ So whenever you're tested, any kind of test, pertaining to wealth, pertaining to health, pertaining to lives, loved ones, you say, we all belong to Allah and unto Him we shall return. Not get angry with Allah. Those who say we get angry with Allah are non-believers. They do not understand whom they're dealing with. He is Allah the Almighty. And these tests and trials are in order to remit our sins, to raise us into higher ranks. And no one who lives on earth will live without being tested whatsoever.